podcasts do. Yeah, as our jobs right. Ooh, how about this? if one of them is uncircumcised, you put a couple of slices of ham yeah. under their foreskin. I like that show, uh, uh, like, What Would You Do? That's like woke jackass. Really? There's one, there is a woke jackass? Yeah, it's on like NBC primetime. The guy that hosts it is like some fake race. Oh, that guy who yeah. who looks like an Indian, but he's just Latino. Yeah, it's like Jeffrey Quinoa or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That guy. Mm-hmm. They're like we, uh, and I've, I'm sure I've talked about this on the show. I don't before. know if you have. Well, yeah, it's always like uh, we sent a racist into a restaurant to not tip his black waitress, <laughs> but what would happen if he was also retarded? <laughs> And then they just, like, record strangers being like, should we confront this retarded man for being racist? That's good, man. Yeah. That's actually a good – that sounds like a good show. A lot – this is – and this is – I know it gets into conspiracy theory territory, but mm-hmm. I truly believe – Yes. – that the Trayvon Martin incident was a botched episode <laughs> of What Would You Do? I think Interesting. the camera crew was there. Uh-huh. They set up George Zimmerman to see what he would do uh, if a kid and was... And they just were not prepared yeah. for how... They're like, get the shit. We got to go. <laughs> we got to get out of here. You don't know us, George? You've never mm. seen us? Yeah. We sent a Subway Jared lookalike into Subway to have sex with a child <laughs> <laughs> in front of everyone to see what they would do. Don't worry, it's a fake, it's a prosthetic penis yeah. I'm using to fuck this child. <clears throat> we set up a dog fight in the middle of a black church. <laughs> <laughs> then brought a white Christian field trip in there and told them they were going to go see Black Panther. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> like, uh, what would you do? Hires jackass right <laughs> We sent a racist (laughs) to put a race car in his ass. (laughs) We sent a midget. (laughs) We sent a midget midget to staple his balls to the the bulletin board at the community center. (laughs) But get this, he sharpied the N word on his balls. (laughs) We we had a, a waiter with Down syndrome. And then we had a, a rodeo clown not tip him. <laughs> but what would happen if he tipped him with candy? <laughs> Coming up next on What Would You Do? MTV2. <laughs> MTV2's What Would You Do? That's a good show, man. I'm in there. I'm yeah. in that show. I'd fuck with it. <clears throat> oh, fuck, dude. I'm just, it's hard for me to podcast because I'm worried I'm going to die now. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm in a bad mood, too. I don't want my friends to die. I die. Not because I'll miss them or I feel bad for them, but because it's a reminder of my own mortality. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, dude. That means a lot. That's the only way to process other people's deaths. By remembering you're also going to die? Yeah. You make it about you. Yeah, it does feel like you probably will survive because you deserve it the least, you know? That's true. You have the least love in your heart, so. Um, yeah, that's it what sucks, does though. It. I'm insecure about it. About having no emotions. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it does suck. When you realize, like, oh, yeah, I am just sort of an angry robot. <laughs> you could go to therapy, man. I keep pitching no. this to you. And then I go out and I see people, like, being friends with each other and listening to each other while they're speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough, man. I'll be honest. <laughs> like, I wish I was one of those guys. But then I'll start talking to somebody and they're like, oh. And then we were supposed to go to the laundromat, but it was already closed. But it was 3 o'clock and I'm like, I'm out of here. Right, right, right. No, yeah. that is true. The truth, the, the trick is finding someone that doesn't have little dick-ass, bitch-ass mm-hmm. stories. I guess. I just want to trick people into thinking that I have... Empathy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I want. You'll get there, dude. You'll Thanks, find man. the program to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, dude. Yeah. Maybe I should just move to Los Angeles where everyone's like me. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why you hated it so much. You, right, because you saw what you mirror. really were. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's partially true. I Like, I would talk to my landlady and, like, we would just both be waiting for our turn to speak. And be like, man, everyone here sucks because they're just me. <laughs> but they're also sexier than me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not true. I was sexier than her. Were you? But in yeah, L.A., you we went used to the compare. sexiest? I don't think L.A. is a particularly hot place. I, I know that seems like a wild take. Nah. Uh-oh. I wouldn't say so. You wouldn't fuck the average person in L.A.? Nah. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, it's a huge city. I think, it's true. I think Manhattan has probably the most attractive women. 
You're probably right about that. Yeah, you walk around. Because they're... They those, also, those women are wearing like $900 Velcro shoes with no brand name on them. Oh, yeah. You know those? I do know those. They, they Yeah, they dress like... Uh, yeah, they look like fake clothes made yeah, for yeah, a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all those clothes cost. But all the leathers like from a fucking like a very rare type of baby cow or some shit. Yeah. And it costs so much fucking money. Yeah. And it's soft as shit. That's the thing. That shitty clothes. What those would you do clothes? if a retarded person walked into Subway <laughs> wearing those clothes? Would you steal the clothes from him? <laughs> I'm Abuelita Quinoa. You're watching. What would you do? No, why would that even be a thing we would do? <laughs> <laughs> Look, sorry, this show's been on for nine seasons. <laughs> We've been doing this for 18 years. Um, yeah, you're right. That is sort of fucked up. Because, like, look, man, you're just at Denny's. Mm-hmm. You're trying to have a nice time. You gotta... It's like to catch a predator, they run out of, like, they finally catch all the pedophiles. <laughs> and they're, like, they just get into, like, you know... We pretended to be a woman that was 45 pounds lighter than she is on the internet <laughs> to lure men in here. <laughs> then the guys show up and then it's like, it's like we sent out the real woman. <laughs> hey! And the guy's like, oh, um, what? <laughs> and they just tackle him, a bunch of fat bitches yeah. tackle him on the way out. <laughs> She's so <still> beautiful. <laughs> you didn't even get to know her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To catch a guy living in 2007 in his head. To catch a guy who didn't get the memo. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Jeez, yeah, I just keep... Nah, but it's cool. I have a good-ass funeral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. At it, White Castle? It'll be so much sadder. A little sliders for everybody? A young... Because a fat guy, I'll die soon. Yeah, exactly. Case. Nah, I want everyone to have all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue at my funeral, man. Yeah. Pass the bulgogi. Yeah. Pass the dumplings around. Yeah, it would suck if you died, dude. Nah, I Especially probably won't. before, like, you know... Bobby Kelly. Oh my god, that would be brutal. I'd be so mad yeah. dying. I'd have to kill Bobby on the way out. I'd be like, yeah. "Bobby, I have to I have to speak to you. Yeah. You're my mentor and I love you." And then I just shoot him with a gun. Yeah. I can't die before Bobby. Right. Shit would suck, dude. But uh I'm not going to. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to shake this shit off. And uh <clears throat> you yeah, know, it's weird. I do fuck with the gram. Stop it's, baby too, baby. Instagram. And if you if you can't do Instagram and you prefer Twitter, you're a fucking loser. Mm, tell them, Nick. You're a fucking loser. Don't hold back on these fucking hoes. I'm not. I'm not. Call them bitches, dude. We sent a retarded guy to use Twitter. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> and he just told all those friends about it, and now that's basically what Twitter is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. We sent a retarded guy to work at Vice Media and cover <laughs> politics. <laughs> And uh, uh, yeah. he just started uh, raping all the girls. Yeah. We sent a retarded girl to Vice Media <laughs> to cover politics, and now he's pitching a TV show. <laughs> what would you do? I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's retarded, but we can't not give her a development deal. I mean, the fucking cameras are here. It's clearly a show. It's, it's, <laughs> we, <laughs> we can't say no. The cameraman's also retarded. Everyone's going to accuse us of sexism if we don't buy her show where she just eats candy <laughs> for socialism. She just eats Karl Marx candy. <laughs> Caramel Marx. <laughs> Car- Karl Mars bars. <laughs> oh, there's so many fucking options. Yeah, there's a lot there. The communist... <clears throat> manic, manic, mm-hmm. manic, Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo, yeah, it's a good you sandwich. It's a candy. sandwich. Can- but you put Monte Cristo. Cristo with candy in it. Mm-hmm. And that's the riff, folks. Thanks for listening. <laughs>